So I worked on uh, developing the Common Core standards that, thanks to people like Scott, California has adopted. <laughs> <It's that laughs> And we, we were told to make it a design project, not a political project. And so we designed a tool <laughs> that the users will decide how it gets used. And we know that every good tool gets a use. Like my granddaughter, Sadie, uh, has given this one. But one, we were basing it on evidence. And the sum of all evidence was that our curriculum is a mile wide and an inch deep. And since the standards have come out, I've been really worrying about how come it's a mile wide, inch deep? Who's doing that to us? And I realized in some ways we're doing it to ourselves. So we have a California multiple choice question. <laughs> <laughs> now, clearly we want it to be number four, but really it's often number one when you look in classrooms. Teachers are teaching how to get answers. And in fact, from looking at lots of videotapes of Japanese and American classrooms, American teachers ask, how can I teach my kids to get the answer to problems like this, while Japanese teachers are trying to figure out how to get the math. So an American teacher will wind up with something like the butterfly method. And the butterfly method, you draw wings around like this. <laughs> and you draw the body. There's the plus sign as a reminder on the top and the multiplication sign as a reminder on the bottom. You taught it this way, haven't you? <laughs> so you, you multiply along the wings and get four. You multiply the other wing. Three times three is nine. The plus sign, nine plus four is 13. You write it in the head. Four times three is 12. You write it in the tail. 13 twelfths, 12 thirteenths, right answer. <laughs> Another answer getting technique, the FOIL method. We all love this. I mean, it works for a whole chapter, binomial times a binomial. <laughs> Canceling. Everyone gets the top one right. The bottom one, they all cancel out. What do the kids write? <laughs> so all this answer getting is avoiding mathematics, but worse, it's... <laughs> We're adding stuff to the curriculum. This is where the mile wide, inch deep comes from. We're adding mnemonic devices and answer getting tricks, and we're avoiding the depth. That's why it's shallow, and that's why it's broad. The other big issue we came across is the grain size. States wanted all standards to have the same grain size. But we eventually we tried to do that, and we eventually decided to make it the grain size of the mathematics. And what we realized is, Mathematics doesn't break into lesson size pieces. And if we focused on chapters, the mathematics would be much more accessible to teachers, let alone kids. So I think we should do lesson planning. But it, our standards in this country often have too general a grain size. Everyone wanted us to have strands. They couldn't figure out why we didn't want strands. Strands are too general. You look at that US standards and you have four strands in grade one, you get to grade 12. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> it's a, so we thought that these strands were actually causing incoherence by throwing, jumbling too many things together. So what we did is break number up in elementary into operations and algebraic thinking, number and operation, base 10, and fractions. Each one is coherent. They're related, but they have their own coherence. This <laughs> we, we also wondered why Singapore divides fractions in grade six. We asked. They said, because it doesn't work. We didn't know what they meant. We said, what do you mean it doesn't work? They said, kids weren't learning it in fifth grade. So they moved it to, so this introduced the idea that standards should work. And if kids aren't <laughs> learning it, It was very confusing. And finally, this, because when you write standards, you write them as though everyone in the fifth grade standard has learned 100% of all the standards that came before. But that's not what classrooms are like. The kids are different. We should stop acting as though they're all supposed to be the same. And remember that the reason we have standards is because of the social justice agenda. 
to make sure all kids get enough math to have a decent opportunity. <laughs> Thank you.